Well, good Monday afternoon to you. I trust that you've had a, a good weekend and uh, thank the Lord to be able to be back with you for one of these de daily devotionals. And I'm going to bring just a little thought with you and I'm going to show you where we are. And uh, we're in a different spot of the building, a spot that you probably would never even think about if you didn't know it existed. And I want to give you a thought from Psalm 46. Now, I know I've used this psalm a lot. Even in Sunday's message, I used the first part of it. But I'd like to you to read with me in verse number 10. The Bible says this, Be still and know that I am God, and I will be exalted among the heathen, and I will be exalted among uh, exalted in the earth. And I want you to think with me for just a little bit about our world today and stillness. Uh, today in our world and local government and state government, they've issued uh, more regulations as far as uh, the term they're using safer at home and so they're trying to limit people's activity in the world for the spread of this virus and I uh, think about all those things and as we think about physical activity and things slowing down I want you to think about your own heart and it's one thing to slow down physically and one thing to be at peace about what we say but it's another thing to be still in our own in our own secret place in the very s center of our being and the Bible makes this statement here, be still and know that I am God. You say, Brother Mark, in the world that's going on today, how can I have peace in my heart? How can I have stillness in my soul? How can I know that uh, what's going to turn out? Well, I'll say this to you. No one knows how it's going to turn out, but I can be still because God is still God. You find here in this verse, this expression, be still and know that I am God. For those of you that have heard me preach this passage of scripture before I've used this expression and you may even be able to see it's written in the bottom of my Bible and that is this, our stillness is connected to the greatness of God. So in days like this, in days of uncertainty, in days of uh, trials or tribulations, no matter what we go through, we can be still in our spirit because we know that God is able to see us through. It reminds me of my favorite Psalm, Psalm 62, where the Bible says, My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense, and I shall not be moved. So I want you to consider with me, as the world slows down, what about the stillness in your soul, knowing that you can trust the Lord? Now, I brought you to a small room. This is actually just a small room uh, off the side of the auditorium. And it may be an office, maybe a storage room. It's just a little small room. And I'll show you uh, this way. If you were to look now to my right, this would be entering into the front of the auditorium. And if you go over here to my left, it'll take you down the hallway. And uh, this side is on the preschool side of the nursery. And I'll show you all those classrooms in the next few days and you can go all the way down the hallway there and we'll show you those entrances and uh, then you also see some restrooms here and some janitor's closet but some little rooms on the inside that make all the difference so i hope that you have the stillness of your soul this day